Howdy. Welcome to the Hogtide Rise and Channel. Well, right now, I'm here at Long Beach in the Pacific Rim National Park, Vancouver Island, just a little bit outside of Tofino, BC. And I'm here for another van life video. And in this video, I am going to show you how I provide for cold storage in my van for food. And as you know, food is essential and to keep it, make sure it doesn't go bad, is key to the whole trip. Now it's uh, re been a really nice experience out here at Pacific Rim and, ri and right now I'm in one of the uh, beach parking lots. Now you can't van camp in these beach parking lots, but you can be here for just about all day. In my case, because I'm a senior, I get to stay for $8.40 a day. That's a bargain any way you want to look at it. So what I do when I'm out here is I go outside the park, I go find a logging road perhaps, find a little pull out there, and that's where I camp for the night. And then I get up early and I come to one of the beach parking lots and I stay here. I set up my van, I have breakfast, I do a video or two or three, and it's just been a great experience. So as I said, today I'm going to do my cold storage system for food. Let's go open up the back of the van and take a look at my cooling system. This is my mobile cool cooler. It's a 12 volt cooler and I bought it at Canadian Tire. It was on sale and it cost me maybe a little over a hundred dollars. So it's a just a straight cooler. It doesn't have a compressor or anything fancy. It doesn't have a freezer. It does have pretty good capacity. It draws something like uh, 4750 watts of power when, when you're using it and it just plugs into the t a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And down here you can see it's got two, a switch, a two way switch. And uh, when you put it over to the far left, to the green, that's cooling. And over to the far right, that's red and that is heat. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my system for getting all of this food and stuff into this little system. When I started using this system, it was in the summer and I couldn't run my battery all night. So what I used to do is have a block of ice in here. And so the first item I'm gonna show you was something I bought so that it would accommodate having a block of ice in the bottom of this cooler. What I'm going to do first is remove the lid completely from the cooler and it makes loading it a whole lot easier. There we go. Now the lid is completely off the cooler, which gives me complete access. So the first thing I had to do is figure out a way to keep a lot of my stuff up out of the ice because as the ice melted, I got more and more water. So I went to a store called HomeSense. I bought this little unit here and it's just a nice little shelf. It just fits in very nice into the cooler. Then with that shelf in place, I was able to load in a few things. Like so, two little containers fit in underneath there quite nicely and I've got in there guacamole and some other uh, single use containers. Then my nice little jar of jam would fit in underneath there as well. And this little container here would also fit in quite nicely. There, like so. Very handy. Compartmentalization is the key to this whole thing. And you will see that that's a common theme in a lot of my videos is com compartmentalization. Keeping stuff organized so you know where it is and how to find it. Then we're going to fit these two big bottles in next first one that goes in is my iced tea bottle. And now my orange juice bottle. Orange juice and iced tea fits perfectly. Now let's get in milk and mustard. Now as you can see after getting all of that stuff in there, two plastic containers full of guacamole and uh, hummus, uh, 
a jar of jam, a, bit, a nice big plastic bottle of iced tea, a plastic bottle of orange juice, some milk, and some mustard. I still got a ton of room in that. That's the key to compartmentalization. Next, I'm going to put in these three containers which I use for yogurt. I often put meat in it. In this case now, I've got Hungarian Smokies and uh, fruit gel cups. They all go in there quite nicely. There we go, those three containers, yogurt, fruit gel, and meat, all nicely stacked up nice. And look at how much room I still have left. I've got room for this container. Whipped butter fits in there real nicely. Now, I really like cheese so I get these individual cheese containers and they fit in there quite nicely just like so and then on top of that I put my blueberries mmm nothing like blueberries for antioxidants and I still got room for lots more stuff eggs I always buy my eggs pre-boiled six to a bag and uh, ready to go so they fit in here quite nicely like so Tube of tomato paste, all nicely compartmentalized, all nicely stored in my mobile cool, ready to put the lid back on. And that's it. That's my little mobile cool cooler. I tell you, I would be lost without it. Keeps my food cool. Doesn't have to be super, super cold. Now in the winter, I don't have to worry about a block of ice. And uh, in the summer, for next summer, well, as I'll be showing you later down the road, I've got a power source that'll power that cooler throughout the night. So light is going to be good. So right now, what I'm going to do is put everything back in the van, and then I'm going to go take a walk, take a look at Long Beach in the late afternoon, show you a few shots of what you're missing, but what I'm not. Thank you for watching the Hogtide Rising channel. I certainly hope you've been enjoying the content. If you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up and hit the like button below. And if you see something that a friend might benefit from, then please share this video with a friend. And if you want to see more content just like this on the Hogtide Rising channel, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.